There are a few cool little hidden features in Messiah's workflow. And I just want to demonstrate something that uh, I have always try and use and never really remember but, but want to. Um, that is here in the, um, the lock graph to curve values. So without it, before we had it, um, what we would do when we wanted to look at some little detail of the motion curve is we'd kind of center things and then zoom in and look at them individually. And it's just a few more clicks than should be necessary. Um, what you need to do and what you need to utilize more to be more efficient is to toggle these lock graphs on and off when needed. So I want to get back to having the width of my, the height of my graph match the current selected curve, which is Y. And so I just toggle that on. And then I can toggle the width as well. And it centers it back to all of the keyframes that are on the currently selected uh, motion curve. So that's nice. Uh, a better way to zoom in down on that detail is to right click here on the vertical locking and select range. So now when I switch my input, you can see, oops, I need to turn that on. You can see that it locks it the vertical height to the range that I have selected. So I can easily just quickly now go in and tweak these handles and then pull back out and see the broader motion. So that's a great way of zooming in and out. Um, one of the best ways to do it is in conjunction with the ability to right click on the in and out handles here and that makes both the in and the out move as you're working. So that's a great kind of magnifying glass that you can use for your motion to make sure that you're both dealing with the broad motions on the bigger um, curves and able to zoom quickly zoom in and, and noodle the, the subtle motions on the curve. So that's uh, kind of a great little workflow tip and I hope uh, more people will utilize it.